I think it's time I finally fix our Gencon under the stairs area. As you can see, I extended the tile all the way to the edge of the stairs because I had plans for this space and it did not include June's shelf here, which was originally supposed to go somewhere else. So June, I'm sorry, your shelf has to move to the spot it was originally supposed to go so I can make this beautiful. You don't have to be sorry, I'm excited for this project. Yay. Yeah. We do have some sad news. Our beta fish Thunder has passed away. He was about four, which is apparently a decent amount of time for a beta fish to live. But my heart thinks everything is immortal until I'm proven wrong. So we were both really sad. We buried him underneath our momiji tree, which is also where we've buried any other fishes that have died that still had bodies. Y'all fish are very uh, brutal. <laughs> He'll be a part of the circle of life. Of our oh, land. Beautiful momiji tree. But I don't want to get too sad because I don't need to cry. So I was really inspired by a lot of these super fancy designs. Every time I saw Pinterest before I built the house, I was super excited. Like, oh, this is gonna be one of our house <laughs> spots. And every time I see Pinterest picture now, I feel sad. It's not as good as these. <laughs> but, but I'm really excited for you, all your projects. I mean, I am absolutely in love with our house. Every single day, I'm, I'm so happy to be here and I think it's amazing. I don't want a gigantic mansion like this. That's too much space. Anyway, I want to put a little garden under the stairs. I really like the idea of having like a rock bed in here and making it look very traditionally Japanese. The least amount of rocks we could do would be to make just a low layer on the bottom, but of course that means it would be lower than floor level, so roaming balls of cat fur will end up in here. However, I think I can just use our hand vac to suck up the balls of cat fur. This is also where we keep our food for bing chong outside. <laughs> And since I'm removing this storage, our local kitty, I do want to build like a bench with built in storage underneath it. So that's where the cat food can stay. Uh, but I don't think I have time. So, so yes. June, can you please move your shelf? Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Gain ga kita yo, gain ga. The cause of that. Thanks for all your fur balls. It's really helpful. Kire natta ne. I have done what I can. Some of the grout is still a little bit dirty. That doesn't really need to be cleaned now. We can handle that later. Today I'm going to be a sweaty mess. Our air conditioner is broken. June is attempting to fix it. It uh, dripped onto our TV and broke our TV. So that's fun. Step one is build a small box. <laughs> this tile and this tile stick out just a tiny bit enough to catch my board. I think my only choice is to very slowly excavate this, which is what I'm attempting to do. All right, let's try this again. All right. I've got a base, perfectly measured. I want to be able to snap these back off later if I want to remove this board. Now I want the end piece to be easily removable so I can take it off and we can brush out the rocks onto like a pan and dump them in a bucket to take them outside to clean or just like pull the whole tarp out to take it outside to clean, to make it easier, rather than trying to like dig all of the rocks out by hand. So I'm gonna see if I can like drill holes and then use these to keep this in place. <laughs> Let's see. 
Oh my god, it worked. I think if I tried, I could pull it back up. Okie doke. Time for tarp. You guys come to help? I imagine this is what it's like trying to fold a boat sail. There's just too much fabric. Yeah, this actually wasn't too bad. I'm gonna start bringing in some of the bags of rocks to keep everything in place. Excuse me, you are not a white rock. My plan for cleaning up cat hair is doing this. Good job, Nagi. You're so healthy and sporty and active. Hi, pretty boy, Nagi. Look, we got a rock pit. Please don't pee in the rocks. Don't, don't pee in it. Don't. A roaming ball of cat fur has already made its way in. Let's test my cleaning method. It works! Next up is tree shopping. I know every major plant store in Fukuoka intimately by now, and I think this one, Fukuoka Flower, is my best bet for tall, slightly more uncommon indoor trees. And indeed, I found this lovely 2.3 meter, seven and a half foot ficus benjamina, or in Japanese, known simply as Benjamin, for 15 mon or about $100. This is my new tree. His name is Benjamin. He fits in our car totally fine. <laughs> Let's go home, Benjamin. Wow. Free boy, Benjamin. He's such a guard cat. He won't leave the spider. So, Nagi actually peed. Oh, walking away with your tail all up high, all proud of yourself. Little butthead. <laughs> Gotta make some room for Benjamin. Okay. Benjamin is already very large. Do you see how this pot is mended? This is the pot that the cats knocked over back in our old, old apartment multiple times. I think maybe we should only keep one of these small slash medium plants here. I think there's too many leaves. Yeah, he'll eat it and throw it up all the time. This is with one of our avocado trees. I think a plant of this approximate height with Leaf size and density would go well. To temporarily keep Nagi out of here, we have placed the cat spikes. <laughs> this is our, our medium plant that we got for here. I have to go work on June's video, and in the meantime, he's going to repot my plants for me. We oui. Tag team. Yeah. Transparent on. He's really healthy. All right, two more. It looks so good. Yeah. Are you got those here? Looks nice. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sakuroko for sponsoring our video. I cannot express how grateful we are to have such a wonderful sponsor every month, which lets us focus our time on doing such like just fun things. I cannot believe that we get to do this. I am so, so grateful and I love getting their snacks every month 
and their awesome box designs. Look at this. This is a Tsukimi box. Tsukimi is moon viewing in Japan. There are a lot of festivals around moon viewing in the fall, and it always involves rabbits because Japanese people see a rabbit in the moon or two rabbits making mochi. I don't know. So this month we're gonna have a lot of rabbit themed snacks. They're so cute. I had to watch so much of the video of this being made, but I didn't get to try any of it yet. Jin made a video of their factory process, but the Sakurako booklet also has information in each booklet on specific snack makers that they work with. A lot of these companies are like small local companies. This one literally, the grandpa founded it and he's still working there at 92 years old. It's insane. The booklet also contains cultural information about Japan and information on all of the snacks, including allergens. Each month, Sakurako has 20 authentic Japanese snack items, including special tea and one tableware item which is an adorable skimmy plate. Oh my gosh. Here's a black and white bunny, except short years. This is <laughs> a whiny, bumpy gremlin who is also soft and I love him. This month's tea is Hatomugi cha. It's super food, the guy there. Mmm, smells so good, Jim. I want a strawberry. June said it is soaked in chocolate. Oh my gosh. It's like white chocolate that was shaped like strawberry. It has the texture of white chocolate. I don't know how you like put chocolate into a fruit. This is white chocolate shaped like a strawberry. That's all this could be. I don't understand. <laughs> I need some hot mukita. It's very senbei-esque. Senbei is like a salty rice product. It doesn't have to be salty, but it's usually a bit salty, which makes it perfect for having with like sweet stuff. So you can go back and forth, salty sweet, salty sweet. It's a tiny sugar bunny looking at a moon. This is so soft. Despite being an agar jelly soaked in sugar, it does not taste too sugary. It is delicious and the texture is like so soft. I think this is my favorite out of these so far. I'm really glad you went to visit this guy. <laughs> and then the Hatomugi cha just like refreshes everything. If you are interested in trying Sakuroko and experiencing the taste of Japan, you can use our code and link in the description box to get $5 off your first box. Anyway, I have to go clean more cat pee. I'm very appropriately dressed for the occasion. Am I not? will be annoying to like have to clean out these, but it's actually not as bad as I was worried it would be since I can just scoop out the rocks in the specific spot where I need to clean. No, oh, no, my, my gloves have a hole in them. Oh well, bath time again. We can't be squeamish about cat pee. Eventually at some point, all of our cats are gonna get old and they're gonna have a hard time with peeing and stuff. It's just something that happens. These are my leftover wood pieces. I can find something here to make a shelf out of. Haku has come to help. <laughs> Cause he's gotta be where we are all the time. Whoa, you're such a good cat dog. This entire video is gonna have one of our cats on the wheel. Talk, <laughs> walking while we're trying to film. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's so quick. <laughs> Haku. Ta da! It's mostly level. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta stop that. and stuff <laughs> you're such a butt so like here 
I love you, but you're so jama. <laughs> Because there's stuff inside this wall, I can't drill more than 1.5 centimeters into it. This was like the narrowest drywall screw sort of thing that I could find. Hopefully, it will be able to open up behind the board in here. Okay, I've got four holes here. Every time I start talking, it's just a cat on the wheel. Mm, wait. I failed to brain correctly and didn't take into account the length this would be when I had to like fold it over and stick it in the wall. So I can't use these. There's basically no drywall screw I can use here. So instead, I am going to fall back to June's first suggestion, tape. That's what I did for the knife block over there. I'm just gonna tape up a shelf. Apparently that's a thing you can do and June is really convinced it'll work. I fear one day this is gonna rip off. It's gonna come crashing down, but whatever. Look, I already drilled giant holes into the wall anyway. Do you think I need to cover the whole back or? Yes, you should. Hi, Haku. Okay, Haku. Good thing I just vacuumed that. Two centimeters worth of this tape can support 600 grams of weight. So the entire back of this using math is going to equal a ton of weight that it can support. I like your math. How, how many centimeters is this? 45. How do you know? Well, I think it is 45. I grew up. But how did you know? I grew up here, it's easy to, I mean to roughly It is guess. 45, really? <laughs> how did you know, June? What the hell? You are familiar with inches, right? I'm not, but I'm familiar with centimeters. I couldn't tell you how much this is in inches. Okay. I could not guess the exact number in inches. <laughs> okay. This one line of tape can already support 13.5 kilograms of weight. Are you sure I need to do the whole back? Yes, you should. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're you... so worried about this coming off. Well, so... yeah, I was until like 13.5 kilograms of weight. In Pretty ideal sure condition, that's... lots of hu humid temperature gap and it's right okay. next to Genkan door. Okay. You know this tape was $14. I'm putting $14 worth of tape on the back of this shelf. Hey, baby. He always has to be right here. <laughs> back has been taped. I'm really nervous. Good luck. Okay. Yay! Now we have a very craft project looking cheap shelf permanently attached to our wall. This shelf is not level, but this one is. So, you know. This is our coin bag. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tape the open eye. Yeah, but and my you little don't see fishy. Any annoying screw holes or anything. <laughs> my little fishy is so cute. So uh June does not like carrying change around in his wallet. So anytime he uses cash, he takes <laughs> the coins <laughs> out of it <laughs> and then puts it in a bag either in the car or in the house. So I have Can to do my best F to Spend as many coins as possible. This is my wallet. My coin part is broken. That's all. And then we forget to take it back out into the car, and I then we end up with more coins. Coin I couldn't quite figure out the best pot filler to use that wasn't super noticeable. We're going with coconut fiber for now. It's I. It's better than the other options. <laughs> Kim Gyo san now has an excellent perch, and we have made it smell very strongly of lemon to try to deter Nagi. Hopefully this will work. He wants to play, he wants attention, he wants food. <laughs> Can you wait? He can't wait. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> Nagi got used to this now and now he's obsessed with it too. Yeah. Oh, oh. This is now officially the most <laughs> desired cat toy. Can I do my video conclusion? So, do that. I love it. 
なんかね、This looks much, much better. The handbag has been working really well for this spot. For some reason, the cat fur always ends up like only here. I guess our house has its own air currents. And the currents always blow the cat fur into this specific spot. So it's actually pretty easy to clean up with the hand vac. Also, I finally have a table runner. This is a used OB I got from a thrift store. I just hemmed the end off where the pattern ended. And we have our lovely trimmed Benjamin branches here in a sake bottle. So, Benjamin over there can watch his disembodied limbs slowly rotting away. I'm sorry, Benjamin. June was unfortunately unable to fix the air conditioner, so we had to call someone to come in, pay them $200, and then a week later, it's stripping again, and the first guy we called isn't answering his phone anymore, so now we have to hire someone new to come back in a couple days. Our homeowner's insurance did cover our TV, so we can fortunately replace our TV at some point. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Me too, you did a great job again. Thank you. It's been fun, but I'm also excited to finally be able to leave the house again. Every time I finally finish a video, we get to go have a day off. We're finally gonna go watch Barbie and eat lunch at a burger restaurant. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited for your new projects too. So, what was it? The bookshelf and maybe cat door and maybe the kitchen wall over there, finally. I have a lot of projects that need to be done at some point, which is June. Frequently reminds me of. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye. It's my best bet for tall, slightly more. Just give you just for like a minute.